Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas and I grabbed this book Feast from the library because I always see the word feast and go yay this is gonna be a great cookbook. Let's look through it other than flipping through it at, in the library and quickly flipping through it on our Instagram reels. I haven't looked at this at all so I have no idea what's going on, haven't cooked anything from it. Let's check it out. This is kind of an unusual setup for a cookbook. It says recipes and stories from a Canadian road trip by Lindsay Anderson and Dana Van Veller. Let's see what it says on the back. Two friends, five months, one car, 10 provinces, three territories, seven islands, eight ferries, two flights, and one 48 hour train ride. The result, over 100 incredible Canadian recipes from coast to coast and the Great White North. Okay, let's check out the table of contents. Ooh, starts off with some spoons. The publisher is Appetite by Random House. This came out in 2017 and the chapters are Daybreakers, Breakfast and Brunch, Grazing, Starters, Appetizers and Snacks, then From the Garden, Vegetarian Mains, then Feathers and Tails, Meat Mains, and then Fins and Scales, I bet you can guess that, that means Seafood Mains, Field Trip, Salads and Sides, Sweet Stuff, Desserts and Bakings, and for the Mason Jar is of course Preserves, Pickles and Sauces, and then Chairs to Drink. Let me read a little bit of the foreword by Chef Lynn Crawford. It says, oh, how I love a road trip, and better yet, a Canadian road trip. But Lindsay and Dana have taken this concept one step further. A few years ago, they set out on the ultimate edible road trip across all of Canada. And the introduction, <laughs> wow. We have been asked time and time again why we decided to do a road trip and write about Canadian food culture. Our answers are always a little vague, and that's because we can't remember exactly how it all started. We think the first conversation began during a camping, camping trip in Squamish, British Columbia, while eating chips and lounging on a fallen log in the river. The kind of moment when dreams get tossed around. On that trip, we spoke of the ways in which our lives would soon be open-ended. Contracts were finishing, leases were up, and it seemed by the next summer we'd be poised for adventure. Over the next few weeks, those initial musings of wouldn't be interesting if... Transition to why not? Why not plan a trip across the country and see what it is exactly that Canadians eat? Okay, how to use this book, Canning Basics, Photography from the Trip. But let's get to the recipes. First chapter, day breakfast, breakers, breakfast and brunch. Off to a nice start with photography. Ah, here is something called red fife crepes with sautéed plums. And they explain why they picked this. Let's just take a peek. Did you know Lindsay wrote her master's thesis on red fife flour? It's true. You're probably thinking, that's very nerdy. You might also be wondering, what is red fife? It's one of Canada's original heritage grains, and its arrival in this country is steeped in foggy Scottish folklore. Oh, nice. I'm Scottish. Okay. So, so far we have a recipe with a beautiful big photo. And the next one, Eggs Galliano. It's looking like we have one picture for every recipe. Prairie Cherry Galette. Okay. And a little info about British Columbia, which is the Canadian area that's closest to me because I'm in Seattle. We're a couple hours south of it. Barley pancakes. Bannock two ways. One of them is Greg's Bella Coola Bannock and the other is Doreen Crow's Bannock. Bannock is not something most people I know in Seattle eat, but this cookbook might change that. And here is beer waffles with salted butter. Beer is spelled with some threes. Let's get out of the breakfast chapter because I can't show you the whole book. From the Garden, Vegetarian Mains. Ooh, I think I skipped an entire cha chapter. I did. I missed the Yukon Territory, and I think we were in the sides, Wild Mushroom Toast. Now let's go to the From the Garden chapter, Vegetarian Mains. Sunchoke Barley Risotto. I've actually eaten that in restaurants here in Seattle. I don't always know where to find sunchokes or I would make it myself. A fava bean tart. Oh, we're in the feathers and tails meat mains. 
section. I'm skipping ahead because it's not fair to the authors to show you the whole book. Wow, here's a recipe you're not going to see a lot of places. Bison, butternut squash, and cranberry pie. Now we're in Alberta. Uh-oh, here's some things that don't have pictures. Reindeer meatloaf and maple molasses braised pork belly. Okay, here's a Acadian chicken frigot, frigo. I don't know what that word is. Never heard it say it out loud. Braised Arctic hare. And lamb steaks. Let's jump to the next chapter in this Canadian cookbook. Saskatchewan is next on our little road trip. Slow cooker moose stroganoff. Again, something you're not going to see in many other cookbooks. So this is really cool and unusual. Classic cabbage rolls. That looks normal, yeah. Ooh, this is chocolate ravioli. Hello. That's super cool. Something called a Jigs Dinner. Don't know. Wild Boar and Fig Meatballs. I don't really go to the store and find wild boar around here, but my, I'm probably not looking <laughs> at all. Fins and Scales Seafood Mains. Let's check it out. I knew there's going to be lots of good seafood recipes in this. Spicy Haddock and Snow Crab Cakes. And I'd love to hear in the comments what you think you would like to cook out of this cookbook. Crispy Trout Rice Bowls. What is the most appealing thing to you as we're flipping through quickly? Pickerel and parchment. And Ontario pan-fried whitefish. Now we're in two tastes of whale. Ooh. Grilled sardines. Giant lobster roll. Now we're in Quebec. Brussels sprouts. Hey, my boyfriend and I are having Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight to use them up because they've been in the fridge a few days. Here's a beautiful herb salad with pickled shallots. Oh, that's what the pink things are. I wondered about that. Roast potatoes with duck fat and maple syrup. Of course, we're in Canada still. Got to use maple syrup. Warm autumn salad. Okay, salads aren't too exciting. New Brunswick. West Coast salad. Grilled eggplant and roasted tomato salad. A lunar rhubarb cake. Wow. Ooh, Nanaimo bars. If you don't know what those are, look it up. It's spelled N-A-N-A-I-M-O. They're super famous here in the Northwest. Dark chocolate dipped East Coast oat cakes. Prince Edward Island. Anne of Green Gables fans are rejoicing. Cape Breton butterscotch pie. That is the first dessert I would want to make out of this. I love butterscotch. Goat yogurt fudge. S'more scones. Yukon sourdough cinnamon buns. Chocolate rye loaf. Goat cheese blanc mange. And I think I've showed you too much, but let's go to Newfoundland really quick. Pickled asparagus, lacto-fermented garlic dill pickles, Dijon style greeny mustard, making your own. And lighting the quillic with Anne. Annie? I've never heard of a quillic. Homemade sea salt. Wow. And cheers, the drink chapter, the Hendrix Carry. I think we better finish. That is really cool. Very unusual recipes. I expected to see bison. I didn't expect to see reindeer. All right. Recipes and stories from a Canadian road trip. Feast by Lindsay Anderson and Dana Van Veller. I hope you enjoyed this cookbook look through and preview. You can see more of them on the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel and on our cookbook blog, cookbookdivas.com. We have a podcast where we talk about cookbooks and upcoming things called Cookbook Divas, the podcast. We also post cookbook news and info to Facebook and Instagram, and we have a new Amazon Live shopping cookbook channel where we stream and chat with the viewers. Hope you'll stop by. Thanks for watching.